Hello everyone and welcome. So in this video I'm gonna be breaking down how I did this sushi shot. We will be focusing more on the sops part. And if you're interested in the file itself, you can find it on my Patreon. So let's get started. So here's the final geometry and some UVs. Let's start from the beginning. So first I'm going to model the rice. And for that I'm starting with a line and then sweep it with, um, with some scaling along the curve. So thicker in the middle. And also I'm using the end cap type as grid to have this round part. But as you can see this is too uniform so I'm doing a bend but now I want this part to be flat so for that I'm creating a mask on the bounding box as you can see in here bounding box and set to X and then I'm just blending both shapes so the bended one and the straight one with a lerp function as you can see and then you can play with this uh, mask in here so then i'm subdividing and using the quadri mesher to have a better topology that will smooth nicer because right here we have this pole which can cause some issues so I'm just doing a quadri mesh and if we feed this sort of geometry to a vellum seam it will be a bit too slow it, it will be a bit slow so for that I'm doing a poly reduce at 50% to have some proxy shape and I'm also grouping the eye poly it's not really eye poly but I call it eye poly then I'm merging both and from here I'm just creating the sushi part, the, the shape for the rice and I'm doing that with a circle, then clipping and adding some thickness, removing the bottom primitive and beveling it to have this sort of shape which I will then scatter some points and randomize the normals in this case just set to inside sphere then I'm animating the P scale as you can see from frame 1 to frame 12 from point 15 to 1 and I'm also doing some random scale in here and creating a connectivity attribute which is pretty important to replace the low poly version later as you can see, this is the result of the copy to points with the animated P scale. F after the copy to points, I'm splitting the, um, the low poly geometry to fit to the vellum seam. And in here, I have the colliders. So from this initial shape, I'm filling the polygons, adding a normal. Then extruding these out and extruding this one in and this will be the bounds of our of this will be the collision geometry so i'm also remeshing and applying some noise so we don't have a very uniform distribution and so this is our colliders and we have the as you can see they are all intersecting so we will use a vellum seam to solve that for that i'm creating on the geometry a vellum shape match just default settings set the vellum constraints to shape match and then in a vellum solver oops place it on the frame one in the vellum solver inside i have a vellum rest plant loading at each sub step 
the animation of the rice so this now in here after the copy to points and if we check how this is going it might be a bit slow in the beginning but it's just from frame 1 to frame 12 so as you can see it's growing and it will avoid intersections and at the end you will have something like this which is intersection free so just run the sim for 12 frames and then use a Velum IO to cache the last frame and here is where we replace the let's call it high poly by the low poly so as you can see we replace the, the geometry and we do that by loading in from this split the high poly and time shift it to frame 12 which, which is where the, the, the grains or the rice is fully grown and then we use a vellum transform pieces and use the piece attribute class which is the one that we saved in here and then we just replace using the vellum geometry and the vellum constraints this is similar to the transform pieces but is unique to shape match constraints then we just delete the attributes we don't need and in here i am hiding the empty spots with this interior shape because we might have some holes in here that will not work so we just use this shape and merge it over the rice or under the rice so now we will make quickly the sushi so for that i'm loading this shape and blasting the bottom primitive and subdivided quite a bit so when the geometry rest, rests on, on here it will be quite smooth so for that from the rice I'm extracting a bound as a rectangle as you can see and growing it a bit then doing some remesh and running the using a vellum cloth as you can see this is a these are my values which is basically default settings and running the sim as you can see and then I'm time shifting on frame 12, uh, 30 then quad remeshing it which for this sort of shape the, the Aldini quad remesh is pretty good then creating a rest attribute and flattening the shape and in here I'm just creating a mask with the distance along geometry so I can have a thicker in the middle and, and thinner at the edges we will do that in a bit but for now I'm doing a mountain along the peak so I can create these jagged edges and then just point deforming again to the shape then I can pick it a little bit and do two extrusions so one thicker and one thinner and then just blending them with that mask and we will get something like this then I'm doing some beveling in here to have these edges sharp and not uh, very smooth so we will subdivide in here and you can see we will have a sharper transition instead of this rounded look and for the UVs I'm just saving the extrude back group and doing a group from attribute boundary on that specific group and then use that in the UV flatten as a sims group and it will work pretty well as you can see just default settings and that's it 
then subdividing adding a normal and adding the name attribute for both pieces and we have the sushi done from here we can create some random random rice we can add some random rice on the floor and also create some chopsticks and place them around the scene and this is our final result from the modeling part so i'm gonna be showing you the materials so for that I'm gonna disable a few of these things like the table, the chopsticks and the rice and let's focus on this material first the salmon material so let's load that as a render and as you can see it's pretty simple I'm just loading a PBR mater material PBR set of textures that I found online and using the place to the nodes to scale as you can see i can scale the, um, the texture because by default it will be something like this as you can see and i just scaled it and i can show you i did some color correction in here so defaults to this uh, I, didn't, I didn't do color correction in here actually so this is our roughness and here is the translucency which i did some heavy color correction and then we have the, the normal which is just a bumpy little texture and for the displacement which is where I put a bit more work which doesn't allow me to show you exactly because it's not connected to the shader so we can do this surface unlit and so this is the default displacement texture that comes with it then I'm inverting because I want these parts to go in and these go out. Then I'm remapping to minus 0.5 and 0.5 since this is um, the default uh, value for this texture is around 0 0.5, just like Mega Scans. And then I'm loading this mask texture if you remember from the edges and i'm multiplying with the, the displacement after the remap so i can have uh, less displacements or no displacements around the, the edges but you don't have to do that it's just something i did and that's basically the textures and for the shader I'm just using quite uh, a glossy material and a lot of subsurface and the scale around 0.002 if I remove the subsurface you can see it will look very flat and let's focus now on the rice which will be a bit more slow so maybe we can focus here on an area so the rice material let's see i'm loading first the texture as you can see then I'm playing with the range with the material X range and then I'm mixing two colors one slightly darker and one more white 
and I'm using that both as a base color and a subsurface color and radius and these are my these are my subsurface and scale settings and as you can see we have this sort of of translucent look on the rice and the, the roughness is around 0.1 i noticed that it's pretty glossy and i also have some bump if i can show you i will do a small render and and pause the recording or i can just show you in here as you can see how translucent the and specular the material is and if you notice here you can start to see some of the bumpiness that you get typically on the rice so apart from that we have uh, the chopsticks and the table which is just a default material so nothing to show you in here and also we have the lighting so i can show you the lights we have a, a dome light which with a very small intensity just to add some ambience and a top light your uh, front and a back light that's about it and up render settings i am just ch changing it to 512 xpu as always increasing a bit the SSS limit on the rice and I am also using the Odin denoiser so that's about it guys hopefully you picked up some tips and you can download the full scene on my patreon let me know if you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you next time. Bye.